to welcome as well your presentation, but I think it was rather more positive than the details that you actually find if, if you read this report. And I also think there's a source of concern that the report itself is three years late. And um, Anthea mentioned that we all want to reduce the use of pesticides, but I'm not sure that's true. I mean, what about the companies that actually sell pesticides and the lobbying pressure they exert in this house? I'm also aware of the fact that an assessment by Pan Europe in 2015, the Pesticides Action Network, showed the worrying signs that 26 out of 28 member states had not fixed reduction targets and timetables for the use of pesticides in their countries, and no member states appeared to be clear about what the mandatory and voluntary requirements under the cap actually were. Furthermore, it seems that countries haven't committed the effort they should have done to integrated pest management measures for farmers to make sure that they could actually find an alternative to pesticides and, and reduce the use of pesticides. Obviously, the promotion of integrated pest management plays a key role in reducing chemical dependence on farms, so this is quite a worrying sign. Now, we know, as has already been mentioned, that a lot of farmers across the continent are heavily reliant on substances, and particularly on glyphosate, to manage pests. I actually visited such a farm on, on Friday, and they showed me how they're moving towards what they call conservation agriculture as a means of reducing fossil fuel use. But this type of farming is actually even more dependent on glyphosate. And as we move towards a ban on glyphosate, and as has been discussed, the Parliament actually voted for a five-year phase-out, so that's clearly the direction we're going. I'm concerned that the Commission is not doing enough to prepare farmers with the knowledge and the information that they need to make the transition away from this dangerous chemical. So we welcome the idea of making the sustainable use of pesticides uh, and this directive part of cross-compliance. We would ask, however, that Member States prepare revised national action plans in 2018. And if I could move on to my questions for the Commissioner. After assessing the findings that you've pre prevent, presented showing the unsustainable use of pesticides, how will the Commission improve enforcement, pest, enforcement of these mechanisms? And what are you doing to assess the relative climate benefits of so-called conservation agriculture and organic farming? And what research have you commissioned into the cocktail effects when citizens, and particularly children, are exposed to more than one toxic chemical and on the effectiveness and detailed methods needed to make integrated pest management success? Thank you.